Coach Cam Coach made this shit. I'm going to kick this off with Anthony Davis. Dude, that one's really fucking tough right now. I know it. I don't even know how I feel about him. Um, Healthy. He's arguably a top five player in the league. Yeah, but that is the biggest if. Um, I'd say underrated because, I mean, the dude is like a legitimate MVP candidate. Mm-hmm. Uh, when healthy. And, I mean, dude, if he stayed healthy, I mean, you're talking about like one of the best. I guess we'll call them power forwards. Power forwards of the past, like, decade. Yeah, probably should so. have played the center, but once I played the four. I think he's underrated, <laughs> but I I just cannot help myself to not think of that video of him being spanked around. Yeah. not uh, Hold on, not just spanked <laughs> around, but also lo- making dead eye contact with the camera and going, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's really hard to recover from that, so I'm, I'm going to go overrated. Just because there's really not a lot that I can do to <clears throat> overcome that. Yeah. Even though he is a world champion now, which I kind of forget about. Yeah. And I, I still think he's the best college basketball player ever. Yeah, dude. Fuck Christian Leitner. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So and I, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. I guess. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> dude stayed four years, won four titles. I mean, he's got some competition, but I think, like, especially, like, undoubtedly single-year players, I think he's the best. But... Yeah. I think he's probably the best college basketball player ever. Yeah. So I'll go underrated <clears throat> because of that and because of um I think he's people for that video. <laughs> and because of that video. No. I think that people forget that he's like a top five player in the league yeah. just because he can't stay healthy. But if he can, he's that guy. Like Yeah. The Lakers are a completely different team. Yeah. Yeah. No, I agree. Elvis. Same spectrum. <laughs> None of mine correlate, so it's all right. Elvis. <clears throat> Damn. I think it's kind of got to be overrated. Like. Man, that's a real piece of shit move right there. <clears throat> like, I don't know. He just, I haven't seen the new movie. I want to, but. Yeah. I don't know. He's kind of known as like, like one of the best artists ever. Most people nowadays know that he kind of just stole a sound. Um, and then, I don't know. I don't think there's a lot of people, like, a lot of people who will say, like, he's top ten best musicians of all time couldn't name ten songs from him. Yeah. He's got, I like, maybe ten songs from him. Yeah. But, yeah, I think he's a little overrated. <sighs> I don't know. I I, I want to say underrated just because I think it's kind of like a <clears throat> how we both felt built about like Bill Russell because mm-hmm. like as the times move on, we just tend to forget how good certain people were. Yeah, and like because I mean that dude was apparently like the first raunchy person to ever exist because like he hips. yeah he like moved his <laughs> hips and people were like holy shit this dude's the fucking devil yeah <laughs> and I was like because I just I don't know I just remember seeing clips of that I'm like. That's really not that crazy. And, like, Mm -hmm. people freaking out about the Beatles. Like, people legitimately burning the Beatles, like, everything because they said they were bigger than God. And now Kyle Kuzma is just saying he would pull up, like, (laughs) on God and shoot a jump shot and nobody fucking cares. Like, it's just wild how much the world has changed since then. Since, you know, back then Elvis just gyrating his hips a little bit. People were like, dude, this dude's went way too far. People are, like, fainting and shit. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of wild. Yeah, I would say underrated. I mean, that's a lot of power for that man to have, and I respect the shit out of it. And plus, he has one of the coolest fucking sandwiches ever. I'm pretty sure it's just like a peanut butter, uh, banana, and bacon sandwich. Is it bacon? I, I think there's bacon on it. Banana. <clears throat> I think but, there's bacon on it, but either way, bad fucking ass, man. Yeah, cool for that to be your thing. Yeah, dude died on a twist. There's a, there's a yeah. lot of uh, conspiracies that he didn't actually die. No. Like, ever? (laughs) He's still just I have no idea how old he would be. (laughs) I'm assuming it would have to be pretty fucking old. Like, he'd be in his hundreds by now. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) There is conspiracies, little known, that Elvis is an actual vampire. (laughs) (laughs) But, yeah. Guacamole. Hmm. (laughs) Goddamn, there's really no in-betweens on these. Um, Guacamole. That shit's underrated. That is fucking amazing. 
I don't know. There's really nothing bad I have to say about it. I mean, there is not a Mexican dish <laughs> I've ever had that I'm like, man, this would not be better if it had guacamole on it. I feel the exact opposite. Oh, wow. I think guacamole is very overrated. I think it... What part of it? I mean, I'm assuming the avocado, because that's like the main part. Or, yeah, I guess I just don't like avocado. Yeah, because I think it's pretty much just like lime juice, avocado, onion, and tomato. Yeah. Because I've tried it more recently t- again, just so I was like, it's got to be good. Here? Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. And then... <laughs> right, well, I busted that. <laughs> and... What, like those little <clears throat> cups yeah. that I get? Oh, yeah. Those shit, that shit's good, man. Yeah, I didn't like it. So, and I think it just like, like, I hate that it's just pre on everything because I hate going and having to be like, no guac on every fucking item. Looks alone. I'll give that to you. It looks looks, horrid. Yeah, it does. Yeah. It it looks really bad. It looks like a baby took a shit on your plate. But if you can get over that, (laughs) it's really fucking good. Try it from a restaurant. Have you ever tried it like from an actual restaurant? I've tried it a couple times. I'll try it again. I I want to like it because... It's on fucking everything. Yeah. So I would like to just not have to order like specialties. Like I hate saying like without this. So yeah, I would love to like it. So I'll try it again, but it's overrated as hell. Yeah. That's fair. Edward Norton. Edward Norton. I think he's underrated. I do, man. I think think like solid as shit. Yeah. Like I'm trying to even think of like, I mean, you're talking American history X, you're talking, Maybe my favorite, at least, actor portrayal of the Hulk. Yes. So, I was going to say, I was trying to think of a bad movie that I, I've seen. And I was going to say, like, you could probably say the Hulk. The Hulk's not a good movie, but he still does really well with it. Yeah. <clears throat> um, Obviously, Fight Club. Yeah, I was going to say, don't sleep on my favorite. Yeah. yeah. I love that picture that it was, like, of him and Brad Pitt. And it said, wow, after all these years, he's still talking to himself. <laughs> No, dude, he's fucking great. Um, he's going to be in the new Knives Out movie. Oh. Yeah, which I'm pretty excited for. I was wondering, I was like, how are they going to do a second one? He's just a private detective. He could just go to yeah, another. Yeah, he just yeah. privately detects something else. Yeah, I, <laughs> yeah. it took so yeah. little. Like, the second I had the thought of how could they do a second one, I immediately realized how they could do a second one. They will find a way to make a sequel, even if it's a prequel. Yeah. Like, there's going to be a second movie of he's, any movie that does good. He's in Birdman. Yeah. Which is, uh, it says one of his top movies is like Primal Fear. I don't, I haven't seen it. Motherless Brooklyn. Yeah. He's, I really don't, I've never seen him and just been like, wow, he ruined that movie. Like he is the reason, like he did bad in this movie. I don't know if it's just cause he's a method actor, but I'm assuming he's a piece of shit. I, yeah, I've heard it too. But, I could, and it makes total sense. Somebody yeah. could be like, "Dude, I was just walking down the street with my kid, and Edward Norton ran up and punched my kid." I'd be like, "That makes a whole lot of sense." He's probably just in character, man. <laughs> <laughs> like, come on, this movie's about to be great. Just let it pass. Don't yeah. don't file any charges. It's going to be a good movie. Yeah, I heard he's just an asshole. Yeah, I'm, I assume that with like anybody who's a method actor, and I really feel like that's just kind of like a cloak mm-hmm. of like. I'm not just a method actor. I'm kind of a piece of shit. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, well, you can't call me that because I'm, I'm just in character. It's like, you're a piece of shit. <laughs> Why do you only play pieces of shit? Like Christian Bale. I feel like he's just horrible as feel, a person, but I love him. Yeah. I feel like there's a lot of, I feel like in, I feel like it's a little justified when people are just in your fucking face and yeah. assume they know you and expect <clears throat> you to be whatever movie yeah. They, like, think about, like, when, like the Hulk. Some people are coming up and being like... Wait, which Hulk? Edward okay. Like, you're the Hulk. And then some people are coming up and being like, you're in Birdman. And, like, he has to try to be that guy. Yeah, I'd be a fucking dick to those people, too. You think that's how every interaction with him starts? And I, that's why he's an asshole? <laughs> I think a lot of actors have to go through that. I just like that walking up to him and declaring that they're in something. It's like, hey, you're a Hulk. <laughs> All right. <laughs> There's probably not a lot of people that say that to him anymore. Not anymore, but I bet it was annoying as hell when it happened. Yeah. Like, think about, like, Tom <clears throat> Holland. How many people were coming up to him and be like, you're fucking Spider-Man. Yeah, but he's a good guy. I know, but he I'm just He seems like a genuinely good guy. It's got to get annoying. Edward Norton seems like he heard that one time and lost his <laughs> shit. <laughs> like, somebody publicly addressed him one time and he's like, that's it. <laughs> I'm fucking sick of this shit. Yeah, but, I no. get it. Yeah, I would say he's underrated. I fucking love that guy. Super underrated. Yeah. Instagram models. Oh, man. Immediately. 
R. Kelly came to mind. <laughs> oh no. To, to, my mind <laughs> my body's telling me no. <laughs> um Yeah, my body's telling me yes, and my mind's telling me no. No, I would say they're I would say they're un, uh, overrated. Okay. Yeah. I, I, was, I would say overrated. It's still pretty early in the morning, so I'm going to say overrated. <laughs> but, but yeah, I don't. <laughs> He's just peeking in. He's checking on us. Somebody say something about Instagram models. <laughs> so I thought y'all had somebody. <laughs> um, but yeah, I would say they're overrated because I just feel like that's a. I feel like that's kind of became like the modern day like SoundCloud rappers of where they're like, oh, I'm a rapper, and they're like, oh shit, like who you signed to? And you're like, well, I just make music on SoundCloud, and they're yeah. like, oh, I model. They're like, oh shit, who you model for? Like you like in Vogue or something? They're just like, ah, no, I just I just, I just kind of take slutty pictures in the mirror, and they're like, that's awesome. <laughs> I think it's kind of wild to be like if you're like my profession is an Instagram model and you don't have like an OnlyFans. I'm like, I draw the line. Yeah, well, like, you're just... Get paid more. Yeah, you're just fucking up your own money. Yeah. Like, I shouldn't I shouldn't be your business manager yeah. right now, and, you right. know, it's never a good look to tell someone, like, hey, you should start an OnlyFans then. But, like... I yeah. want to be a business manager, that that's all I recommend. Just get paid to tell people to... I think those to, people get in a lot of trouble. Oh, <laughs> I think that's ended up in a just, lot of people getting canceled. Just, just a business manager that just says, have you tried OnlyFans? Oh, wow, that was a good idea. I made a lot of money. Like, yeah, now I get 10% cut. Yeah. <laughs> I'm or wondering. just a, you can give me a special offer discount for your OnlyFans. <laughs> I'll accept either. It's got to be like a modern day pimp. Just pimping people out through OnlyFans. Dude, pimping, pimping online must be great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think pimps could work from home, but that's fucking great. I would love that. Yeah. <laughs> Black Widow. <clears throat> the movie? The MCU? Or... The actual arachnid. <laughs> <laughs> or, yeah, yeah. or the spider? <clears throat> or, like, comics? Um, or all? Just her. Her. Yeah, just her. Um... Especially in like the movies, it's super, super overrated. I guess like right. yeah. <clears throat> the movie, I think, is a little underrated. There's one scene <clears throat> that is absolutely horrible. The explosion scene. Oh yeah, it looks. It's one of the worst like CGI things I've ever seen. That's with Doctor Strange in his third eye. Yeah, yeah. Like it's still that bad. But other than that, I think that movie's pretty good. Um. Not great by any damn means, don't get me wrong. Yeah. But, yeah, she's definitely <clears throat> overrated. Just because, and I don't blame, like, her. I blame more of just, like, her involvement was kind of just odd, oddly e- placed. Yeah. They, um, <clears throat> to me, they should have just stuck with the superhero route in the first place and not really included her. So I think she first made her appearance in Iron Man. And they, she like was, it. like, trying to recruit him into S.H.I.E.L.D., I mm-hmm. think. And then, you know, she came in there and, like, whooped up on him. And people was like, oh, shit, that's Black Widow. But, like, then she became literally a love interest to every guy there. And they yeah. just didn't work. So I was like, fuck it, we'll just make her be, like, Hulk's calming down medicine. Yeah. And then, and then she's in Avengers fighting off, like, Ebony Maw. And stuff, and like, no, (laughs) like they was having like a clash of like, like a clash of sword scene where they're just like fucking like pushing back and forth. I'm like, she's dead. Like, there's no fucking way. Like, she is by far the most average person here. Like, at least Hawkeye can kind of just like play at a distance Mm -hmm. and be a sniper, and he has like very specialized arrows. But she just has like a really good high kick. Yeah. And they're like, eh, she can fight off aliens by her fucking self. Yeah. Like, I don't know why they don't <clears throat> take, like, the Avengers and just match them up. Like, make them fight, like, good matches for them. Like, yeah. Black Widow shouldn't have fought. Black anymore. Widow should be, like, a more in-the-office kind of person. Like, a really, like, a secret weapon in S.H.I.E.L.D. You know, like... It just sounds so disrespectful, too. It is. I mean... Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> In that world, yes. Yes. <laughs> I mean, obviously she can hold her own mm-hmm. in those battles, but she shouldn't. 
she shouldn't be able to. It's fucking ridiculous seeing yeah. a seven foot tall alien monster getting fucking kicked in the tummy by a black widow and it's like, oh that hurt. Like, no, it did it. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> it didn't fucking hurt. Unless she kicked it in the liver. Oh. That's, a in- <laughs> that's her secret power. She just always knows where the liver is. Yeah. OP. Yeah, that's all I got. Yeah, that's been over under.